I'm here today at Mitsubishi Materials at their M-Tech facility in North Carolina, and I'm gonna be talking with Joe Dunn, their marketing manager, about the Mastercam partnership that we have with them, as well as what they're doing with some of their workforce development. This is our M-Tech Center, or Machining Technology and Education Center. We have 10 of these globally. This is the only one in the United States here in Mooresville, North Carolina. This is my first time in the facility, so I'm interested to check it out. And let's go take a look. Absolutely. So Joe, walking around here, I see the Die Edge logo. I see the Moldino logo on your shirt. How do those brands fit underneath Mitsubishi Materials? Prior to 2017, everything was under the Mitsubishi Materials cutting tools. We moved those tools under our Die Edge brand. And so Moldino, that was a kind of a separate brand that's a separate company. That's correct, yeah. So shortly after the Diage brand came out, we acquired Hitachi Tools, and they're under the Moldino brand. So we have a real wide range of drills. We go from 40 to 50 times D down to half millimeter drills. It's not just drilling either, right? I mean, I know with the project that we're working on with you guys in titanium, some of your solid carbide end mills. Absolutely. We've used a lot of our VQ series with your project and had very good success with them. Yeah, and we've used the accelerated finishing tools. That's correct, yeah. So once again, in our VQ series, we have the barrel tools, and uh, that's been a very popular thing. Yeah, getting some great finishing with that with really big step overs. Talking about that, I noticed this display case, you know, full of medical parts. The materials are tough to cut. That's correct, yeah. You get into some of the chromium cobalts and titanium, it's very difficult to machine. That's where we have to spend a great deal of time developing our tools. So I know a big concern out in industry is workforce development, right? There's a, a lot of buzz around that, and how do we get the next generation of machinists and engineers you know, trained up to keep this industry moving forward. And I know a program right here in North Carolina that both of our companies are actively involved in is at Universal Technical Institute. They're kind of known for their automotive training across the country, but here they actually have a CNC program. So I was wondering if you could speak to that, some of the benefits that your company has got from it. Our partnership with UTI has been very valuable to us as a company. We've been able to hire several employees. We've been able to help with their curriculum. So you know, very valuable that we continue that partnership in the future. Hey Jesse, how's it going? Hey Drew, how are you? Good to see you. We worked a lot on this yeah, project. Quite a few hours on yeah. it. Looks like you got a finished yeah, one here. Yeah, here it is. And turned out really awesome. well. Lighter than it looks. Oh yeah, yeah. Titanium. This is very representative of an aerospace structure that we see out in industry. The tool path came out really well, honestly. Yeah, and yeah one of the big things I think with this project was the accelerated finishing mm -hmm. yeah, that we did yeah. with the barrel tool. I was honestly really surprised. Our VQT6 barrel cutter was like a third of the time that the ball took yeah. and it was just, just as good of a finish. You can step over a lot farther and it's just it's a, a much better process if you yeah. really want to reduce your cycle time. And well, I want to lean in here and yeah, check it out. Yeah, for sure. That is impressive. That thing roughed out that whole part and the end mill still looks good. Correct, yeah, yeah. It's really amazing what that VQ can do, especially in titanium. You yeah. know, it does a lot of work, but it yeah. turns out really, really yeah. well. So I wanted to talk a little bit about your personal history with Mastercam. I know you, you first got exposed to it at UTI, then you went to work for a job shop. That was where I kind of got some more exposure to fixturing and all sorts of different stuff. Now here you are. Yeah, yeah, here playing with toys and yeah. you know, get to do five axis on Mastercam, which yeah. is pretty cool stuff, yeah. you know. So. And I understand you went through some of the training at Barefoot CNC, our reseller. Went up there, did all their training that they offer. Right. I learned a lot. It allowed me to do what I do today. You know? Yeah, now you're so. programming advanced Mastercam multi-axis tool. Yeah, and it does wonders what it can do. So it makes really good parts like you see on this one right here. I was talking to Joe about your partnership with UTI. Going full circle now, you guys actually bring students in here and you're exposing them yeah, to yeah. the process. We actually bring them in here and we show them how to take a 3D model that you would say get from a customer, then apply it and then make a finished part that looks good and the customer would be happy with. Awesome. Well, it was a pleasure to work with you on this project and I, I really look forward to collaborating more. Yeah, likewise.